Hey guys, it's Armitrix, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your monitor's refresh rate. So before we start, you'll need to make sure you have an NVIDIA graphics card and a decent monitor. So make sure you have the NVIDIA drivers installed, including the GeForce drivers and the control panel. Once you've made sure that this is done, all you need to do is go to your desktop, right click and select NVIDIA control panel. Now before we actually overclock, the reasons you'd probably want to overclock your monitor's refresh rate is because, say, your graphics card is good enough to produce a high FPS, which is still higher than your monitor's refresh rate. So for example, if your monitor's refresh rate is, for example, 60Hz, but your game is, say, 140FPS, you'll only be able to see 60FPS because of your monitor's refresh rate. Now if you want to make take full advantage of that, you will need to overclock your monitor to that 140 Hz, so it can actually display the full 140 FPS so your eyes can see it. Now most monitors nowadays, which are not gaming monitors, come at a 60 Hz prequisite late rate, which is uh, standard and that's pretty normal, but you'll probably want to overclock it a bit. Now normally with a standard monitor, you can probably overclock it by about 12 Hz, which still makes quite a bit of difference. So to do that, once you're on your NVIDIA control panel, make sure you go to display, change resolution, and come down to this area here. Now from here, you'll want to pick customize. Now you won't be able to pick this if you have DSLR enabled, which is the dynamic super resolution thing which NVIDIA has. So make sure you've got that disabled. If you don't know how to do that, look it up on the internet. Anyway, if that's not the case, this should show up here, which says customize. Make sure you've got the right monitor selected, hit customize, and make sure you've ticked enable resolutions not exposed by the display. Now you'll want to create a custom resolution here. Make sure you've got your standard 1920 by 1080 or whatever uh, resolution your monitor actually is. Now first of all, we'll tr want to try something uh, like a high refresh rate here. So start off by going 15 hertz above your monitor's standard refresh rate. So by default, it was 60. If we add 15 more, so we'll be on 75. And once you've done that, leave everything else as it was before. Progressive is the standard scan type, and this should be on automatic down here. Make sure you hit test, and it should test your monitor at that refresh rate. If it works, then it's fine. Click OK and save this resolution. If it doesn't, it should black screen, and it should revert back to the old resolution after about five seconds. Now if it did work, you can start going by going another 5 hertz higher, so say 80 hertz, and test that. And if that black screens and it doesn't work, then maybe you want to go one step lower. And then if that doesn't work, keep going lower until you find your max refresh rate that your monitor can handle. Now be warned, this should reduce the lifetime of your monitor, but not by much really. It's going to benefit you a lot more than it would be bad for you. So this should be very useful in that sense. So once you've done that and created your new custom resolution at the highest hertz that your monitor can be overclocked to, you'll want to go to this area here which says custom and hit OK. Now you've got your new resolution saved. Now you'll want to find your new resolution under the custom resolution section and you'll want to click it and it should say for the refresh rate, the new refresh rate that you've selected and created. Once you've selected that, you just hit apply, and it should apply that to your new monitor. Now you've got your brand new resolution set and ready to use. Now make sure you hit yes to save it, and it should work perfectly fine. Now once you jump in game, you'll notice that you'll have those 12 FPS more that you can actually see with your eyes, and this ad the advantage this will give you in game is it will appear smoother, and you're more likely to see enemies slightly faster than you were before, but in general it actually feels a lot nicer than before. So that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this informative and useful to you. If you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, come on. My mama told me one day I'ma grow up big and I'ma be a king and my papa told me.